This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Let's look at atmosphere effects in Poser now. So I set up a scene here with a little bit of depth to it. I've put a prop right in the middle of the scene, or in fact several props. I've used the free French village prop from the Sparky World site, and I've also used the Sparky World pickup here as a prop in the midground. And I've put Ryan right in the foreground. I've also set up an environment dome in the background and one point light using indirect lighting. So, to set up my atmosphere effects, I come into the material room. And if you look on the object list here, drop that down at the bottom, you can see there's an atmosphere entry. And if you click on that option, then the node appears. Now, using this node, you can add depth cue and volume atmospheric effects to the rendered scene. It's also possible to do that using Wacros. I'll just open the flyout here. And there's a button for Create Atmosphere. And there are a number of presets here already. Fog, Smoke, Smoky Room, and Depth Cue. I'm not going to use those for the moment. I'm just going to use the Atmosphere node. So I'll click on the OK button here. And using a node then, you can actually apply atmospheric effects to other props. For instance, I could put a single-sided square plane in the scene to put fog at kind of knee level. But I'm going to create an atmosphere in the entire scene, so to do that I just need to make sure that depth cue is on and volume is on. And then I'll just come back into the pose room and then I'll render the scene. It'll take a few moments to calculate everything out. You saw very briefly there the test render I did just now to show the scene without atmospherics. So everything will calculate and then render. And there's the render finished. Now, if I just slide between the test render I did earlier and this render, in the wiper tool here, you can see the difference in the depth on the image. Ryan is receding slightly, but the sky dome in the background is now completely fogged out. That's the effect that I wanted. And this can be controlled from the node to a greater degree if you want to, but that is an atmospheric effect applied to the scene.